Oh, hi there. Um, go cool. well back again with uh, a new tackle selection. I've just just managed to get hold of some uh, nice items of tackle, and I thought I'd take a break from doing my work on the computer here and uh, show you, show you what's going on. Right. First off, I've got the return of the the old favourite, really the what well, I call the Mickey Mouse um, butt grips. The looks a bit like Mickey Mouse with his ears there, really, doesn't it? It's, they're nice, nice rests. Um, the balls tighten on your butt grip on your butt to grip it. So it doesn't blow about in the wind or coming. Next, I've got the familiar um, butt rest, but this is this is fairly pliable. You can actually push your rod into it, so it's it's nice and tight again once again. Stepping one up from that, we've got a really soft rubber grip. A lot of people like these. They just they come out a lot easier than what they do on the on the other type. So there's those. Uh, then I've got a little dumpy one. A lot of people like these, as you can see, they're very very thick. And that is a that is a fairly soft rubber there, but it grabs your rod for grim death. So a lot of people like those. Now we've got a similar one again there, but um, just not, not quite so thick rubber. The, the grip is about the same, but just different soles there. People like. Um, got a few baiting aids that have just come in. Got the, a stringer needle, or rather a stringer hook. They're handy if you want to put a few boilies gonna put a few boilies on on um, some PVA string which obviously we also sell the tape and the string as well uh, right that that's handy for that I've got some um, landing net spreader blocks now unbeknown to me because I thought they were all one size silly me um, I've I've gone and I've got some that f yeah this is a pla this is a well I say plastic it's more like a nylon plastic thing it, th this actually fits arms 8 to 9 mil diameter and I've got a, a nice heavy duty metal one which fits arms 7 to 8 mil diameter so I think probably eight mils pushing it a bit, but seven mils fine. Right. Then I've got a new range. Well, a range that's come back in because I was just running out. Stainless steel. Um, I've got a, a boily drill, a boily hook, and a boily needle. Obviously, all in their little individual packing. And got some boily stops. There's ten in the packet there. I don't know how much I'm going to put them on for. I've done it yet. But, uh, oh, these are nice. Uh, high, they're high vis, as you can see from there. Very high vis. So possibly at night you're going to find them a lot easier. Um, got the hook, the needle. And the drill once again, just a, as you can see, just a little thumb um, thumbnail one, as they call it. I think. Uh, bank sticks. Just had some bank sticks come in. Stainless steel. They've got a flat, actually machined on one edge, so that. When you do them up, they've got a nice little, well, good, good screw. In there. Uh, when you do them up, it, they actually lo the bottom of the screw locates on the flat, 
and holds it in there really tight. So that's a stainless steel rod stern. It extends from 40 to 60 centimeters. So it's got a fair extension on it. Now, okay, that's that one. Uh, catapults. Right. I want to start with, I'm not very impressed with these. But I must say, since I've had a look and had a try, <laughs> as you do, I don't I don't think they're too bad at all. We've got this one here, this is uh, more powerful of the two. Um I would think that you'd be alright with mini balls of grain bait and also boilies etc on there. It's well made. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's, it's a nice catapult. Right, and then we go over here. Yes, thank you. Go over here. We've got a, a softer action catapult, pro probably for a short to medium range. It's a nice pole, just a basic, what I would call basic distance pole. Probably 40, 40 yards without any problem at all on that one. I'll put that on the lid. Right, Ah! Ten bivy pegs. Ah. They're quite nice. So I'm selling these in 14 at a time. Or um, you can buy them singly. They've got a nice screw on them for helping you get into the you know, firmer ground. But yeah, they're, that's quite a nice addition, I thought. Once again, they're well made. Right, for the coarse, coarse anglers amongst, amongst you there, or the silverfish anglers, we've got some small disgorgers. Now, once again, I do... <laughs> I wasn't uh, aware that you could get micro disgorgers, and this indeed is what these are. So I, what I'm doing, I'm, 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 I'm saying buy two, get two free on these. I think they're about 99p. So that's those there. And then we've got bait rockets. What I'll do, I'll just open this up just very quickly. I don't know how I'm getting on for time, but I don't want to be too long. Right, I've got one. Add another, a little bit bigger. Oh, lovely. Lovely packaging on this. Add another. Right. So, now, as you can see, there, there's quite a size difference. That's the large, medium, and a small. I'll be doing these separately, or, or maybe even as a set. I'm not too sure on the price yet. Uh, ah. And then we have the bait spoons. Let's see if I can get my pack.